Adam, what are you doing in here? I need to speak with Director Miller about my investigation. Thought maybe he was in the NSN. You? Same. Only just leaving him a message. It's about Vince Black, our organized crime division head. I'm worried. I was hoping maybe the Director had heard from him. Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only... He never showed for our first meeting. From what I know of the Diwali, their influence extends outside of the Czech Republic. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Maybe you could find out? Sure. I think I can do some digging around for you. When was the last time you heard from him? First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed... antsy. Kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well, then maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. Why well, stop now, right? Well, listen, Adam, Lyon's waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office, so... Unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. Is there anything in Black Psyche Val that leads you to believe he's capable of maybe undermining the task force? Is there a chance he's gone off reservation? Human beings are predisposed to damaging everything they come into contact with. Of course he's capable. As am I. As are you. So these evaluations you conduct with him, they're useless in determining a course of action he might take. I don't have a crystal ball. And Black's last eval predates my arrival here. Nonetheless, it's still helping me understand what he's dealing with on a subconscious level. That he may be in trouble. I wish I had something more concrete for you to go on. You mentioned Leon is expecting your first batch of reports. You don't answer to Director Miller? I'm a civilian employee, specializing in habituating deep cover operatives. You're not an agent. So why did you choose to work with badges? I started out working for Lim International, helping patients cope with the emotional strain of augmentation. After the incident, I needed to change my focus. Interpol was looking, so I moved my clinic to the public sector. So you answer directly to Joseph Mandeley? It was Joe's idea to get a psychological clinic up and running inside our field offices. But listen, Adam, I have a small mountain of agent files to process, so if there isn't anything else, Joe, huh? Sounds like you and Manderley are close. We're close because I used his first name? Well, you said you joined TF-29 after the incident. I assume that maybe you and Manderley started together when the task force was launched. No, no, no. I arrived after Joe did. Look, Adam, we should probably get out of here, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. I am curious, though, where Manderley came from exactly. Heard he jumped over quite a few heads to get to the big chair at TF-29. Must have some pretty influential friends pulling strings. Why the interest in our boss? I'd just like to know who everyone is. If Joe had help, I'm sure it was from people who share his vision for what this task force could become. 
Anyway, listen, I really do think it's best if we get out of Miller's office before he returns, so if you'll excuse me... Access granted. Delara, I'm in Vince's office. I think I have a lead. An appointment Vince made with an informant. That sounds promising, Adam. You willing to follow up? Only way to find out what happened to him. If something happened to him. Let's not assume the worst just yet. Janus heard the NSN conversation we recovered. He agrees you two should meet. Good. Just tell me where. There's an abandoned tourist information center in the central plaza. Make sure you're not followed. And I got something on Marchenko for you, too. Details are on a pocket secretary near the meetup point. Look for a trash bin with a chalk mark above it. You'll find it near the metro. Got it. Problems already. Look out. Did you hear about the guy who had his kidney stolen by a cannon? Where's the avenue to get to work? The red light pistol hmm. open all yeah. Listen, I did what you asked. Not just Leave me alone. I don't want to hear from you anymore. So Get off. 
This is going to be good. Hmm. Not my type. Ahoy! On the up front. So, was I right about this place or what? Absolutely. The architecture in the old sector was great. But this area is every bit as amazing. Am I right? Really different. It's too bad there's no helicopter full of this. My favorite color is black. Oh, hello. What about you? It's too bad there's no helicopter tour of the city. I'd love to see the way the two eras Mind come together from business. above. Then I was in Nepal. Mother he taught me never to trust them all. It was gorgeous. It would be great if this building had something to do with it. What about you? <sighs> My favorite color is black. What Some about people, you? all they want to do is complain about the world. The world will save itself. Their health Please makes my right. Difference. color is black. But I what about you? I've done a lot of travel, and one thing I've learned is tourists always want to see a city spread like this. You are a hero, aren't you? Keep walking. Are you Vincent Black? It's me, Dobromila. Please, you... No, you, you are too... I'm sorry, I have made a mistake. I'm waiting for someone. I know about your meeting, and I'm as eager to find Vince as you are. Maybe we can help each other. Who are you? What is it you think you know? Vince and I work together. I know who he is, I know what he does, and I know there are people worried about him. Is he in danger? Has something happened to him? I don't know yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I get the feeling he's not the only one who might be in danger. That was some shot in the dark. You had no way of knowing who I was while I was here. It wasn't a total shot in the dark. You're obviously not the valley. Though I should have known right away that Vince Black wouldn't be augmented. I should be more discreet. We both should. What kind of trouble are you in exactly? Vince wanted me to tell information about my husband's operation. The list runs up. It's something Vince was digging into. Come closer. Pretend you're kissing my neck. Your husband runs a Diwali operation. I'm assuming there are people in here who know who he is. You don't think me kissing his wife might draw unwanted attention? Flirting is one thing. They expect it. He cheats on me, I cheat on him. But his business is something else entirely. We must be discreet, darling. Please, I'll tell you whatever I can. Whatever you want. But not here. This isn't the time to ask questions. You understand, yes? you to tell me whatever else you can about Vince. All I know is that Vince has history with the Diwali. What kind of history? 
The kind that makes him unafraid to confront them. Please. There is courage and there is suicide. We shouldn't be talking like this here. All right, where do you suggest we talk? <laughs> oh, darling. You are so sweet to say such things to me. <laughs> I can walk you out of here. You'll be fine. No. I don't want them to see us together. Please. I am leaving by train tonight. There is a secluded courtyard by the tracks in Chikashka. Go before me and I'll meet you there. I promise to give you whatever information you need. You sure you'll be all right until then? <laughs> I've survived marriage to that man for this long. I think I can make it one more night. I'll be okay. I just need another drink to get my courage up and to loosen my tongue. We'll see each other soon. I promise. <laughs>